Sen. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which my friends on the panel, as you all know, blindfold themselves. Blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes. Sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, panel, in the case of the Mystery Challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it all with Arlene Francis. Would one find your name in the amusement pages of the paper? Wow. Yes. Mr. Bendick? Are you female? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you something, are you known for something other than your work in motion pictures, primarily? That's not a very good sentence, but... I don't understand that. Uh, are, are you famous for something other than motion pictures? I wasn't famous in pictures at all. Mm -hmm. Mr. Seth? I wasn't didn't famous in pictures at all. Oh, <clears throat> would your fame... Stem from television? Yes. Miss Francis? Do you have a show of your own? Yes. Mr. Bendick? Is it, uh, is it on every week? Indeed. Miss Gallant? Indeed. 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 Uh, do you also make records? <laughs> A few. What? We can't hear that. I've broken a few. I don't, we still didn't get it. Did I can't you? understand you now. <laughs> John, would you interpret, please? We well, the, the question was if you made records. Yes. One or two. Yes would be the answer, Mr. Seth. Have you the inestimable privilege of appearing on this network, CBS? No. No? <laughs> To go, uh, do you appear on a regular show every week? Yes. Mr. Bendick? Is it a uh, Western show? <laughs> it's a wild Eastern show. <laughs> Three out of seven to go, Miss Gilgallan. Now, uh, may I have a clarification, John? Mm -hmm. Didn't our guest say that he wasn't famous in motion pictures? Our guest said that he was not famed for his work in motion pictures. That's right. Well, then it can't be Pat Boone. Uh, are you a teenage idol? <laughs> That's four down and six to go, no, Mr. Sir. This is not to suggest that our guest is not well known to teenagers and admired by them, but I don't think that we could properly describe him as a teenage idol. Mostly as delinquents. Mostly delinquents. <laughs> mostly one? Mostly delinquents. delinquents. <laughs> Mr. Sir? Uh, well, we polished off CBS. How about NBC? Did you do your show on NBC? Yes. Miss Francis? Uh... Uh, have you changed the sleeping habits of America? I didn't mean to. What? <laughs> I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to? No. You kid us not? I love you. <laughs> well, there's only one man over at NBC that loves me anymore. You must be he. Jack Parr. Jack Parr? That's right. <laughs> This was Jack's idea, and it's a great idea because he said, I'm not uh, enough of an actor to disguise my voice, so he brought a bullhorn That's with him. That's marvelous. Don't you blow through that on the show every once in a while, Jack? Yes. I was the first to do naval jokes, you know. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happened. 
I see it. <laughs> I see you, Jack. I know you're late, and I won't stay. No, no. Well, I saw him go like that. Actually, uh, I'm sure everybody knows this, that uh, Jack and Miss Arlene are, are close friends, that Miss Arlene, when Jack is not in New York and is getting a small rest, very often takes Jack's place on his own program. She's on wonderful. Too. That other network whose initials are taboo on this network because they're NBC. Uh, I was fired here. I don't know why. <laughs> you belong in a long and distinguished line. I was fired at ABC, too, come to think of it. Well, I may make that one of these days, too. But the one thing, you've got a big uh, spectacular coming up well, this week, first, if I read the press. First one I've ever done this Tuesday night, 8.30 to 9.30 on another oh. network. And uh, it's the first... A well put together show I've ever done, and I'm proud of it, and I'd like people to see it. Well, now, Jack, one thing is, it must be, I know, and I think that most of us, even those who are professionals, are amazed at uh, Jack's ability to put a program together night after night after night from 11.15 to 1 o'clock in the morning. And the critical question must be, uh, do you find putting together a spectacular of such different character that it's, it's uh, a little bit alarming to you after all these years of doing much programs. Harder. We it work two months on this one show. Two months on this Much harder. I, I prefer to do what I'm doing every night. Every night, where you oh, just yes. take it on the wing. Yes. Could I ask you one loaded question? I'd love to sit here and talk about it, but I'm afraid um, I'm wasting your time. How do you, hand, how do you feel about those, uh, all those commercials that interrupt everything you do on your program? Loving, he feels. Well, it's uh, <laughs> like the yellow pages with music. I know that there's a lot of commercials. I, I know that. How much I can do about it? Sometimes about six of them in a row. Oh, yes, there's many. Jack, I've just come back from Key Biscayne, oh, where all they say is Jack Parr brought a plot of land over there, and that's how they're selling all the property in Florida now, oh, so they can be neighbors of yours. Beautiful spot. Oh, just beautiful. Jack, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much for coming thank to see us, and good luck thank Tuesday you. night. We'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. <laughs>